Okay, so welcome to another review. Before I go on with the review, there's a tiny message that I want to say before I get on with this. If John Ortega is watching this video, <laughs> stop watching it. Go to your MySpace or whatever where you belong. Ah! And the mirror's reflection I'm a-dancing on with myself I when there's no one else inside I in the crowd and lonely night Well, I wait so long for my love vibration And I'm dancing on with myself Okay, so now that I got that out of the way, let's continue on with our line of reviews. Next up is a very not that important toy to review. I present to you the Lego Galador spin-off toy Gens. Now I got Gens in um, I think it was a McDonald's Happy Meal. So, I obviously cannot remember how much it costed, or whether this guy's available or not. And since he's from a Happy Meal, I don't think you should bother going to go look for Happy Meal toys, because you are not missing on anything. I just feel like, the, um, at the last minute, I just decided to review this guy, because he would go great with the um, previous Lego Galador figure, Euripides. Euripides, yeah, there you go. So, I just felt appropriate that... I just felt it was appropriate to review this guy. So, let's get it over with. Okay, so here's Jens. Now, there is some fair detail to this guy. You can see some gears here and there. There's the back. This back is very nice. Um, but yeah, gears, some coils, or hydraulics, or whatever, right here in his arms, as well as the bottom of his legs. And some good detail right here around his head. Um, the same goes for the color scheme. Uh, he comes in this very light gray with um, a very dark gray here in the torso. And an orange spot for his eye. His eye. Cycloptic eye. Or whatever. Now articulation doesn't go far for this toy. Um, all it is is the torso... The two arms and the head. Now there's something weird about my head turning. It makes this very eerie squeaky sound. I don't know if that's a defect or it just grew over time. You be the judge. Now it did come with a staff that fits into this um hand. That's why the hand is shaped like that. But I lost it. Sucks. Um, I was planning on showing it to you guys, but I lost it, and I've been searching the past two or three days for it, and I can't find it. However, you are not missing a lot. It's just a white stick with some sort of block at the end that has holes in it. And that's pretty much it. There's not that much detail in it. Nothing you could do with it. Instead, pretend you're bashing some other toy. That's pretty much it. Now, there is another gimmick to this guy. You could disassemble him, uh, disassemble him, him like uh, Europedes. However, the only parts that you could disassemble is his torso and his head. His arms do not come off. It's like this. Stays like this. So I'm going to go ahead and put him back. Actually, you could go ahead and put it like this if you want. And you got mini gens or whatever. Hey, put me back. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put him back the way he was. And there's that squeaky sound again. I don't know why that's there. And I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah. 
That's pretty much gents. Okay, really quick grading for gents here. Really quick. Uh, pros. Average playability. You can have fun with fun with it, so and so. I don't know, unless you use your imagination, uh, which not many of us have, like my little brother. And as well, average color scheme. It's okay. It is pretty much it. Cons. This might be a defect. The uh, some articulation gets kind of all like I don't know, really messed up. And some more articulation would have been good. And that's pretty much it. So I give Jens uh, for a toy from ha of a Happy Meal a six point seven, six point seven, which I think is a D plus. So it's fairly passing, um, just like the uh, Green Goblin toy from Carl's Jr. So. I guess you were minorly lucky if you got it from McDonald's at the time that they were giving the toys away. So this is Black Spider David signing off. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.